I'm sharing an intermittent fasting what I eat in a day video with you today. Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. I do the 16-8 method of intermittent fasting. I've been doing this for over 18 months and on this program I lost 30 pounds and I'm happily keeping it off and also seeing a lot of other health benefits. If you're unfamiliar with my intermittent fasting story, I'll leave the playlist down below and in the iCards up above. In today's What I Eat in a Day video, I'm going to share two days with you and I thought I'd select two atypical days. So we're showing a Sunday, which is a little different for us in that we usually have a really heavy Sunday roast, especially in the fall. And then the second day is going to show you what it looks like when I get takeout. What type of things do I order when I get takeout? And so I thought that that would be interesting for you to see. As a disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist and if you want to try intermittent fasting, you should ask your doctor beforehand. All right, let's jump into the videos. Today I'm having a strawberry banana smoothie with whole fat Greek yogurt and flax seeds. And that's pretty much all that's in it. I know that I'm having a very heavy lunch today because I already made it. I made a uh, crock pot pot roast and I filmed that for a separate video, but that's what's for lunch. It's going to be super hearty. So I wanted something light today and this is what I'm having. So I tend to make um, a big batch of smoothie because my daughters like them too. So that's what we will be having. And of course I have my reusable straw here as well. So I had my first coffee at around 7.30 and I did put cream in it because I'm no longer in weight loss mode. So I've added cream back to my coffee, but when I was in weight loss mode, I would drink my coffee black until I had breakfast. So I have already had a coffee and that's what I'm doing. I like to sit out here in the morning and there is our bird feeder right there. So I'll sit here and the birds will just come to the feeder. We have goldfinches and uh, blue jays, cardinals, all sorts of beautiful birds. So this is a real treat for me to have my breakfast out here. And that is what I'm having for breakfast now. So I'll see you at lunchtime. We got home about 15 minutes ago. That's the beauty of making something in the crock pot in the morning because it's ready for when you get home. So this is what um, we're having for lunch today. This is a pot roast that I made in the crock pot. And if you saw my video, I think schedule wise, you would have seen it last week. I show you how I make this. So I'll link that um, in the I cards up above, but this is a pot roast and it's um, the chuck roast with carrots, potatoes, onions, celery, and mushrooms and um, Ben chopped some basil and put that on top there. And then we're having some sourdough toast on the side. So remember I said this meal was going to be a big hearty meal. <laughs> and that's why I had a smoothie for breakfast because I knew that this was coming. So um, this is a Sunday lunch. Typical in the fall, we like to have roasts and things like that on Sunday. So this is one of my favorite fall dinners. It's very nourishing. So that's what is for lunch day. I also have a special dessert and I'll see you for that. Okay, lunch was delicious. And so normally I do have my dessert for the day with tea time in the afternoon, but today's Sunday and it's a bit special. So we're having dessert right after lunch today. And I made pumpkin custard yesterday. I have also filmed this recipe. So I'll leave that video linked up above. These are leftovers of the pumpkin custard, what was left over. So it looks so good. It's pumpkin custard with whipped cream sprinkled with cinnamon, topped with pecans. And then, as a special treat, I'm having coffee with whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon on top. So I probably won't have tea today, or if I do, it'll just be black tea or herbal tea, um, maybe with a biscuit. I'll let you know if I do have it, but this is dessert, and I can't wait to dive in. Hello everyone, it's about 5 p.m. And as predicted, I did not have tea time. So I just, it, lunch was so filling and I knew that would happen. So tonight for dinner, I'm having this shrimp wonton ramen. This is from Costco and I love these. So I usually have these when I feel like having something light. I like the broth, it's really delicious and I love shrimp wontons. And there's some bok choy in there too. So a nice light ramen noodle soup and then I have some sliced plums on the side. And this is my dinner, it's about five o'clock. 
And after I have this, I won't be having anything else, just water. I might have some herbal tea tonight um, since I kind of missed tea time today. But that is it. That is uh, today. This was a Sunday and typical day of a heavier lunch and a lighter dinner. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day and I'm still on my smoothie kick. I would have thought that by now I'd be on my poached eggs on toast for the next three months kick, but I'm not. I'm on a smoothie kick. I just want a smoothie every morning. So this is a pumpkin pie smoothie. I tried to make it at least a bit more seasonally appropriate. And so what's in this is, uh, and I'll leave the recipe down below because I might miss something, but it's pumpkin puree, banana, yogurt, almond milk, peanut butter, or almond butter if you have it, flaxseed, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and did I miss anything? I don't think so. I think that's all that's in it. So anyway, um, this is so delicious and I, I don't know, I've been wanting smoothies lately. So that's what I'm having this morning. I'm out here with my birds and um, just having a lovely morning. So today is going to be a day when I get takeout. So I'll show you what I'm going to have for lunch. It'll be a kind of an unusual day. All right, I'm going to have this smoothie and I'll see you at lunchtime. Hi everyone, we're back home. Hello. That's Ben. And so we were out all afternoon and I picked up some takeout. So I wanted to show you the type of takeout that I would typically get if I'm not getting a burger, like from In-N-Out, for example. So this is from Waba Grill and I chose the uh, salmon. The family likes the chicken teriyaki, but I chose the salmon for myself. So this is brown rice, salmon um, with the Waba sauce, and then there's like cabbage, carrots, um, avocado, some jalapenos, and brown rice. And then I have some hot sauce on top of that. So this is just showing a typical takeout lunch, if you will. Now this is a lot of food. I don't know if I'm going to eat all of this, but we'll see. And then tea time will probably be lighter, and then dinner will definitely be lighter. So, all right, that's what we are having for lunch today, and I'll see you at tea time. Okay, I'm having an after lunch chocolate truffle from C's. I can't remember what kind this one is. It's definitely the milk chocolate. I prefer the dark chocolate, but we're out of that. So I'm going to have this one. Let me cut it in half for you. Yes, this is the milk chocolate and it has some nuts in there too. This is so good. So this is what I'm going to have right now. And then I will have tea time. And by the way, I ate about three quarters of that lunch. It was huge. So I did not eat the whole thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Hello everyone, it's tea time and today I'm having PG tips with one sugar and some milk and two of these digestive biscuits. So I order these special on Amazon. We have these when we go to England and I never find them in the stores here but you can get them on Amazon so I'll leave those down below. But just a very light tea time today, nothing too fancy. I had a big lunch and then that lovely chocolate after lunch. These are the Spode Woodland teacups I like to use in the fall time. And I think this is the quail on the teacup. It's so delightful. So the book I'm listening to right now is The Master by Colum Toybin. And it's about Henry James. My literary agent, Erica, recommended this book to me and I cannot stop listening to it. It's so good. So I'll leave that book down below as well, but it's about the life of Henry James, which is very fascinating. So that's what I'm listening to, and this is what's for tea, and I will see you at dinner time. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, it's about five o'clock, and tonight for dinner I'm having something very light because lunch was so heavy. So this is a split pea salad. I made the split peas yesterday, so these are leftovers. And I have some carrots in here, some basil, parsley, and these gorgeous yellow cherry tomatoes are from our garden. And I've been enjoying these all summer long. We still have a lot left. So I mix all of this with oil vinegar, salt and pepper. I used apple cider vinegar. Um, and it's really delicious, light, and refreshing. And that's what I like uh, for dinner, just something refreshing and light. And I'm having this with a butter tortilla. And that's it. So 
after this, I will just have water for the rest of the night. I might have a cup of herbal tea later if I fancy one. But other than that, this is dinner. And that concludes today's intermittent fasting regime. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more. Thank you so much for joining me here on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.